Welcome to SharePoint Mastery Showcase, Episode 9, SharePoint 2007 Beginner Project 1, Part 3, with your host, Keith Hudson. At SharePoint Mastery, we help you master SharePoint one step at a time, so you can control your own destiny. Music by Kevin McLeod. This is Part 3 of... SharePoint 2007 Beginner Project 1 How to Design and Build a Simple Help Desk Ticketing System in Under 4 Hours Even if you've never used SharePoint before So far, we have described the business process to be automated and we have begun teaching you a basic method for analyzing the business process Our next step is to identify the actions needed in the system and who the actors are that will carry out those actions In order to identify the actions needed to make the system work we will go back to our step-by-step -step description of the system behavior. To save time, I've already written the actions out and I'll show them to you as we discuss them. The first step states that the user fills out a web-based form describing the problem. In SharePoint, this is the action of creating a new list item in the problem ticket list. The actor who carries out that action is the end user. The information needed will be a description of the problem, the user's name, phone number, email address, cube number, and building number. All of the other information in the problem ticket list will be filled in by the system automatically or by the desktop technician as he or she works on the problem. The second step is that a ticket number is assigned to the problem. We'll create a workflow using SharePoint Designer to do that. The third step is that the ticket number is sent to the user. We'll also have workflow 1 do that. Let's have the email also explain to them how they can go see the status of their problem ticket. Step 4 is that the ticket is routed to the desktop technician responsible for that building. Our workflow will also send an email to the desktop technician advising them that a new ticket has been added to their queue. The next step is that the technician corrects the problem and fills out the resolution description in the SharePoint list. In order to close the ticket, we'll also have the te technician change the status of the ticket when the repair is complete and we'll build a second workflow that will be started by the system automatically every time an item in the list is changed, which will close the ticket once the technician marks it as repaired. Now that we have our actions noted, we are ready to start building our SharePoint lists. Before we can do that, however, you need to know how to navigate in a SharePoint 2007 site and how to create a new SharePoint 2007 site. We'll teach you that along with some hints about how to make working in SharePoint easier in Part 4. So don't miss it. Thank you for joining us for this episode of SharePoint Mastery Showcase, presented by SharePoint Mastery, where we help you master SharePoint one step at a time so you can control your own destiny. Come visit us at www.spmastery.com.